Alright, I am back with another Destiny 2 video here to talk about what's going on at Reset. Uh, this is a little later than normal because I had to run two extra Astrals uh, because it's still doing the thing where there's a delay and you don't get your rewards till after you go to orbit. Uh, but even if you get your rewards, um, you still don't get credit for completing the activity and you cannot progress the quest. So that sucks. That's been happening kind of... Um, since the season launched, I think this has to do with bursting the boss down too fast. Um, in the two circumstances that happened, the boss kind of got blown up from half to zero. And then the one that worked, uh, we kind of took it down a segment at a time. So if that's happening to you, there you go. Uh, this week, we do not have any more Mara and Crow drama per se. We kind of are switching our gaze back to Savathun and our kind of ongoing storyline of freeing her from her worm. Savathun definitely sort of steals the show this week with her interactions with us, the Guardian. Um, although I have a theory she's kind of communicating to us, the player, in a certain way and breaking the fourth wall as her and Riven and the Nine and other entities in Destiny have done in the past. Um, nothing really changes all that much in terms of moving the story forward. Mara is still hinting that there is another force uh, controlling um, the, the Taken and the Scorn and Zivu Arath. This is nothing new. Um, Savathun talks more about this this week. Uh, she talks about how <laughs> she's just, she's so savage this week. It's it's hilarious. She, she goes into um, all the enemies we fought, how many of them actually looked at our ghost and understood that's what made us so powerful and then took the ghost and then looked at the Traveler and then pointed their weapons at the Traveler instead of us. And uh, almost no one has done that outside of Gaul. Gaul uh, understood that the Traveler was the source of our power, and he kicked off the Destiny 2 campaign and destroyed our tower. So he actually did pretty well uh, in terms of going after us. Uh, and then Savathun has a line about how sometimes people literally aim at our ghosts, and then she says, R.I.P. Cade. Uh, she literally says out loud, R.I.P. Cade. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about where... That doesn't, it, it's like so, like the vernacular is so kind of casual and like outside of the lore of Destiny. It just, it sounds like she's talking to us, like playing the game and like purposefully trolling us rather than us, the player guardian. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's just the kind of impression that it struck me. Um, the ultimate point of that conversation is she kind of goes on to say, okay, like using that logic, look at my worm. Now look at what the worm traces back to you. And she's like, look down at your little gun. What's that going to do? Uh, and she's kind of talking about how um, this big force behind everything is a much larger threat than we can hope to uh, kill by ourselves or with the light or with our guns. Although we have killed everything with our guns in the past and we've put plenty of bullets in plenty of gods and things. So I'm not too worried about it, but uh, we do not have a name for this thing yet or kind of an objective list uh, other than the voice in the darkness. Mara comments that um, the system has been surrounded by pyramid ships like indefinitely and they could have killed us if they wanted to, but they haven't. So clearly they're there for some other reason. It's always seemed like the pyramid ships are kind of there to convert us to their side rather than um, just destroying us. They could destroy us if they wanted to clearly because they just randomly took four of our worlds. Um, but we don't really know what the ultimate goal is here. For a while, it was kind of the flower game between the Traveler and uh, the Darkness. And, you know, each side kind of making moves in this kind of eternal dance. And yet, I don't think we know who the ultimate bad guy is, if they're even a bad guy necessarily in the traditional sense, and sort of what their objectives are. But this is, I think this is early, early, early setup for Lightfall and the Final Shape. Um, I don't think Savathun will be like gone from the game after Witch Queen, but I certainly think that she will not be the main focus of the storyline like she is now. I maintain that she may end up as an ally against uh, the thing that controls her worm, given how much she hates the worm and the darkness and wants to kind of get away from it. Uh, I don't think we can trust her. Obviously, Mara says she will betray us. We know she's going to betray us to some extent, uh, given that we're apparently fighting her in the Witch Queen in her in her throne world so we'll see how that goes um otherwise we uh there's another conversation over the radio between ikora and petra kind of checking in with each other um petra's talking about how mara won't send crow away but ikora could recall him if she wanted to and of course she doesn't want to um, because she wants crow to trust us um crow does not say anything this week i don't 
know if he has any new lines in any of the missions. I didn't find any, but uh, I guess we'll see. The uh, lore entry, the text lore entry this week, after you listen to the conversation, is between Ikora and Zavala, which includes the line, something about how I, Zavala was so serene, Ikora wanted to throw a Nova bomb in his face. <laughs> so, full of, full of good lines this week. Um, the point of that conversation is, uh, this, is, this happened in the Petra conversation too, where Petra thinks that Cyrus might already be dead, and um, Sabathun is just playing with us, and Ikora and Zavala are debating whether or not Osiris might be dead, and Saint is kind of rambling and losing it, trying to look for Osiris anywhere he can. Uh, in a past lore entry, we heard that he was off with Mithrax. I think they're on Europa, trying to do something with Braytech to like find Segura's corpse or something on the moon. I, that's the last we heard from them. There are only like three more lore entries to unlock. So I assume that means three more weeks of story content. I forgot to check, but we either have one more, I think it's one or two more weeks in the Wayfinder's Voyage quest. Um, and then that will be over. Obviously, I do not think the entire story is going to be over for the six month season in like two or three weeks here. I think there will probably be a new phase that we move into at some point. Uh, it might take a break. I know Festival of the Lost is probably starting. I think it's starting in three weeks. It's like the 12th or something. Uh, so we'll see how that that pans out that might be a break if it's a holiday period then and then we have the anniversary stuff um, i'd be surprised if it took like a months and months long story break it seems like we should still have something to kind of tide us over uh, in terms of moving the plot forward and not just like leave sabbath and hanging in crystal for five months uh, but i guess we'll see in terms of actual stuff to do we got the second to last compass upgrade which allows you to find secret caches in the shattered realm um, I have not, I've only done it once. I haven't done it since I unlocked that. Um, but I did find a really lengthy new mystery, um, that we unlocked in a previous week um, that is just now coming to fruition where you had to like, you find like a scorn gladiator arena and Mara has some commentary about how they're creating their own culture outside of a culture. So that doesn't seem great. Um, I couldn't even complete it. I had to hunt down a bunch of yellow bar scorn. I only found two of them. I think you needed three. It's a little confusing. I might have to look up a guide or something. Um, and then past that, I got the Agers Catalyst. It was my first drop from uh, a glitched out Astral. I, I got the drop even though the, the event didn't count. Uh, and all it's just kills, essentially. It's kills, precision kills, which is very hard with linear fusion rifle. And it's also, uh, if you clear those rocks in the Shattered Realm, it gives you progress towards the Catalyst. It is not a guaranteed drop. I guess I just got really lucky on my first drop. Um, I don't know what the drop rate is, but for me to get it first time seems like it should not be that high, but I guess we'll see. And Astral is having all sorts of kind of annoying problems. So uh, just don't like quit the game if, if you haven't gotten any rewards, just kind of wait around until they come uh, because the Catalyst can drop after that. The Catalyst dropped after I was out of the mission. So um, it's really glitchy right now and it definitely needs to be fixed. So. I think we have two or three more weeks of this current storyline with the Wayfinders thing and the tech units. Uh, what happens after that? I don't know. And we will see kind of what, uh, how things go from there. I do not know if they're going to actually put any story development into the secret Ahamkara egg that Mara has in her chambers that no one has ever mentioned, but we can clearly see that it's there. I don't know if that's just like an Easter egg, no pun intended, or if it's actually something, but you know, we'll see. I knew Ahamkara being born after Riven is obviously a very big deal, considering they're pretty much extinct otherwise. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep talking to Sabbath in the next few weeks and see what happens. But that's all I got for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.